Hey Scorpios, I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 88. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we're going to jump into this reading. I'm not sure what's going to come out, so definitely only take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Alright, definitely hit the subscription button. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The reading may resonate with you. And of course, if you are returning, welcome back. Excuse me, guys. Y'all know I got acid reflux. <laughs> All right. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What's the overall energy? Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft away from the channel. My sacred space. Please remove any dark forces, evil eye, low vibrational energies, as well as monitor and spirits. Return the energy to sender tenfold. So more to be. Amen and amen. So we have roll the dice and mass. Someone is about to take a risk, take a leap of faith to possibly come towards you. Someone is coming up with some type of strategy as well. So with the mass here, even though this person is wanting to roll the dice and take a chance to come towards you, there are some hidden motives going on here. Someone is not being real. Hmm. Someone here is, a, is almost like a liar. Wow. All right, so let's see what else is going on here. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, oh, guys, let me grab this deck from over here. All right, spirit, angels, and guys, tell me about roll the dice. Hmm. Yeah, this is someone who's wanting to take a chance towards you, come towards you, but someone here is still wearing a mask. They're still not being real. They're disguising who they truly are, still telling lies, hiding secrets, not being their authentic self. Tell me about Roll the Dice. Two more shuffles, guys. Also, guys, make sure that you have your notification bell on so that's where you can be aware as to when I post readings, okay? All right, tell me about Roll the Dice. What is this about? Someone is, I don't know, it seems like someone is strategizing something behind the scenes. Taking a risk towards you. What's roll of dice? All right. So seven of swords in the reverse. Seems like someone is trying to take a chance to come towards this empress to confess something. Someone is looks like they're wanting to be honest with you. Hmm. They want to confess something to you here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Hangman in the reverse. Seven of Cups. Oh, someone is dealing with a karmic here. Mm. They're not seeing things for what they really are with the karmic. Mm. It's almost like someone is ready to confess that whoever this third party is. Someone is still like hung up on a third party, but now I feel like someone has realized that they waste their time. They're ready to release the burdens. They're not happy. They wanted to have a new beginning with you. What is this mask energy, spirit? Hmm. Someone is actually wanting to take a gamble towards you, divine feminine. Male or female. Tell me about the mask energy. Thank you. All right. So we have the world card. Someone here is at a distance. Hold on. Tell me more. What's the mask? 
So the reason why you guys are not together is because this person was not being authentic. The cycle has closed. Yeah, two of cups. The cycle closed on a soulmate connection because someone was being fake, unreal. So it's like now they want to roll the dice towards you, Empress, to be honest with you and tell you the truth. Come clean about something. Wow. What is the Seven of Swords? What are they wanting to confess? What is this spirit? Seven of Swords in the reverse when it comes to roll the dice. Ten of Cups and Child. King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. This person knows they lost a blessing. This person is wanting to admit they couldn't be the man for you in this relationship. The woman that you need them to be in this relationship. Someone here is admitting that either they're broke, they are non-committal. Someone here doesn't want to be committed to this empress. They could be confessing the reason why that there was a separation. But they know they lost an opportunity here. But they're wanting, they don't want things to be over with you here with the death card in reverse, five of swords in reverse. They're hoping that you guys can reconcile, even though they know in the past they gave you every reason to not reconcile with them. Wow. All right. Tell me about the Empress energy. The nine of swords. Tell me more, Empress. It seems to me you're not really worried about this person anymore. You know your value. You know your worth. You know who you are. You're very powerful, nurturing, caring, a divine feminine energy. You don't chase. You attract. You're not worried about this person. You're not losing any sleep behind them. But yet, you know, I'm also getting that you may know the truth that this person couldn't be the man or the woman that you need them to be. Someone here is a liar. The truth has been exposed, I'm getting. But I feel like this person wants to admit to you that they're not ready for commitment. They're not ready to be that divine masculine, divine feminine that you need them to be. So yeah, divine feminine, you're letting this person go. You're surrendering this relationship. You're letting it go. Hangman Pisces energy. Yeah, you're releasing the burdens and you're ready to have a new passion the beginning all on your own. Seven of Wands, you gave up on the situation. And this person is losing a lot of sleep behind the scenes because they cannot move on from you. They're very, oh my God, this person is very unstable, very unbalanced here. Could be a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Yeah. This person feel like a clown for what they did. All because of their bad choices. They made a fool out of themselves. Now you don't want to reconcile with them. It's too much chaos. It's too much drama here. A lot of you guys are loving on yourself. You're not pouring back into this person anymore. Yeah. Wow. You're, bas you're basically letting it go. There's nothing that you need to lose sleep about. You're sleeping peacefully. I feel like you guys already know the truth why this relationship didn't work with this person. They are a karmic. Yeah. What is the world card when it comes to mass? This person could be an earth sign. Scorpio, you may have Pisces in your chart, Taurus, or Libra. The world. Knight of Swords. Hmm. This person wasn't focused on the journey. And see, this person is not taking action towards you because, you know, they know that they were the reason why this relationship ended. By lying. Yeah, being unfocused. This person missed their opportunity. And the thing is, they're not taking action now. 
because they know this mask is going to have to come off. They're not ready to open up to you and be honest and direct. This person is a karmic. But that's why I feel like you already know the truth as to why it didn't work out. This person is not of your highest good. They have nothing to give you. Mm. Yeah. This person full of shit I just heard. Seven of Cups. This person still living in 3D. Still keeping their options open. Living in some type of fantasy world. Not paying attention to the journey with you. This person is like a little girl, little boy. This is someone who's not of your highest good. Yeah. Mm. Four of cups in the reverse. Three of swords in the reverse. You're healing. You're healing and choosing your own happiness here. Wow, this person is like a fall from grace here. This is like a fallen angel. Sagittarius energy. Six of wands in reverse as well. Four of swords. Yeah, this person can't sleep. They can't rest. They can't rest because you decided to release all the baggage, the burdens, the emotional baggage with them. You're not carrying this weight on your shoulders anymore. Because you know that this person is never going to change and you're always going to be unhappy with them. That's why you start a new beginning all on your own. This person is a whole fool out here. A clown. They're reckless. You made your final decision not to reconcile or work things out with this person. You're not fighting for this anymore because this person makes things a little too complicated. They don't want to compromise. Again, this person is a karmic. They're very manipulative. Tell lies. A cheater here. Hmm. This person is being blocked from you by spirit. This person is receiving a lot of, lot of bad luck here because they're playing, you know, this is someone who's very manipulative. Very manipulative here. Mm. Wow. So this person can be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is the two of cups? What's the final message? This person pretends to be something that they're not. They're not being realistic about life. What's the two of cups? Oh. So, you know, going back to this person or allowing them to confess to you. Anything. is This is like a risk that you're taking on yourself. That is not worth it. So, even if this person admits to you, okay, you know, I wasn't ready for a relationship or you know i didn't want to commit right now i just want us to be just lovers and friends or whatever it is in so many ways this is like a waste of your time six of swords someone feels as though there's unfinished unfinished business between the soulmate connection This is like, this person is pretending like they don't know, they don't know and understand what's going on. And possibly, maybe they don't, you know. Thank you. Yeah, this person's immature as hell. Page of Cups in the reverse. Could be a water sign, a younger water sign. But this person's energy is coming out in the reverse. So this tells me a lot. You're coming out as the Empress. <sighs> immature, childish. Don't know how to communicate. There's no communication but on this person's behalf to you. They're not communicating with you, expressing any type of feelings, emotions, messaging you, even though they know there's unfinished business. This person feels like a fool. They feel like a fool here. Mm -hmm. This person is losing. They're falling from grace here. They're not willing to go through the transformation to make the changes that is necessary. Yeah, this is a karmic masculine. The emperor in the reverse. This person is very reckless. They tell a lot of lies. They don't take accountability for their actions. They act out of pride and ego and make silly and stupid decisions. And what caused you guys to break up? You're healing from this situation. But what's crazy is that this person wants to come out of the cold and make things right with you. But they walked away from you. But I also feel as though now you're walking away as well. There's nothing to save here. Yeah, you gave up on this. They're stalking and watching you. This person's getting karma for being very manipulative. Their happiness is being blocked. 
child. This is a mess. So basically with that roller dice, this is almost like a gamble with your heart. You have a very non-committal person, someone who is lost, immature, childish, non-committal. It, it's really not worth your time anymore. Even though you guys were soulmates and there's unfinished business, this person knows that. But they're still choosing to wear a mask and not be honest and truthful with you. They're afraid to have this type of conversation. Because the sword is over here in the reverse. So there is no communication, no movement. That one and six and seven of swords in reverse, which is over here. But I feel like you already know the truth. Mm. All right, guys, so this is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below if this is your situation. <clears throat> Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.